Hey, it's Jeff with JC Audio, Jackson, Tennessee. Today we want to show you an install we did with Kenwood's DMX 1057 XR. We did this in an 09 Dodge Ram. Let's go check it out. So here's the Ram Quad Cab 1500. We did a HD camera to go along with it. This is also a Kenwood product. It goes on the back. It gives you a good clear picture when you're doing the larger screen because the standard camera doesn't look real good. So we have a custom built bracket specifically for this camera that we engineered and we built on our laser, our CNC laser machine in the back. So go around the passenger side and we'll check it out. We do a custom dash kit in here to recess this thing as far back as it'll go and it actually tilts so you can get a different viewing angle if there's sun or something like that that's got a glare you can knock that off. Jump in, let's uh, fire it up. Now this unit is the ultimate in Apple CarPlay. It's wireless, but for this demonstration, since we don't want to link into his radio, we're just going to plug one up. So we've got a USB port flushed inside the console that goes directly to the unit. And when I plug this up, Apple CarPlay is going to come up. So you just tap that button, and then you've got Apple CarPlay on the screen. If I want to check my text, make a phone call, or play music, go to Maps, it does all this stuff. We've got one message. All we got to do is tap it on the screen. This new 10 inches Kenwood radio from JC Audio is awesome. Would you like to reply? No. Okay. Everything's hands free from there. So if I had wanted to reply to that text. What do you want to say to Jeff? Thanks, Jeff. I think it's pretty awesome too. It says, thanks, Jeff. I think it's pretty awesome too. Send it? Yes. Done. Simple as that. So everything's totally hands-free. It's super safe to use. And any of your phone functions you can get to through the Apple CarPlay screen. This is your home button. Waze is one of the cool apps that I like to use a lot. It'll tell you where red light cameras or police officers are sitting. And it's a simple navigation app, real easy to use. That's part of CarPlay. And then of course all your standard stuff like your phone, your messages, all pops up on the screen, even if you're in a different source. So if we were on HD radio, and I get a message, it'll pop up right across the top of the screen and tell me I've got a message. I can touch that banner, it'll read it to me, I can respond back by voice. So it's super easy to use. Check out this backup camera, super clear, looks really good. One of the best images on a camera that we've seen. I've got this radio in my own truck, best radio I've ever had, I love it. Easy to use, easy to see, it's super responsive. You can also add a front camera to this unit, like a parking camera in the front. You can do side cameras for lane departure. You know, see what's beside you when you turn your blinker on, it automatically pop up. I like this. We've installed this one with a Maestro interface, and this ties into the CAN bus system on the vehicle and reads information. So you go to vehicle information, gauges. So these are real-time gauges, your RPM, if I hit the gas, it runs up and down like that. You got miles per hour, intake, fuel, load, and you can do different settings. There's a zero to 60 on this one. And it all depends on the vehicle. Whichever information is on the CAN bus is some of the things that you'll be able to pull up and put onto this. This is all customizable as well. So if I wanna have my speed here and RPM here, I can change those settings in the software. You've got different home screens you can use as well. These are called widgets. You can do album art. You can do a spectrum analyzer that is an actual representation of the music that's playing and then you can do a slideshow of pictures that you can load in your own pictures onto. So I've got like pet pictures on mine. It's pretty cool. It just cycles through. If you want to get to the camera without putting the vehicle in reverse, sometimes you want to see what's behind you. If you're hauling a trailer or something, you can just tap the camera button and it pulls it up. When you do it this way, it won't have the parking lines on it because you're not backing up. It'll just be a good clear picture. Sometimes this unit is too bright at night because it is such a large screen and they made it really simple to turn the screen off. You just tap the volume button one time and hit display off and it goes to this. So it's just a nice backlight with the clock. To get off of this screen, just hit any of the buttons on the bottom and it brings you back to the home screen. This is Kenwood's DMX 1057. We've got these in stock at JC Audio in Jackson, Tennessee. You can find us on the web at jacksoncaraudio.com. You can text us at the shop, 731-660-2834, or give us a call or come by the shop anytime. Thanks for watching.